start sliding. I think you're lying. Do you want me to find myself on my pad? You'll need to do so, yes. I hope that password didn't just get shown. That'd be quite funny. Well, you'd have to come to Glenroth us to get my iPad, right or not? Yeah, you're lying. I'm not very professional at the start trying to find myself, am I? Oh yeah, there we go. Two people watching, that, that means means me and you. Oh, that's okay then. <laughs> so can you add at the top but then? Not from here. No, later. The beginning. Oh yeah, I take it yeah. When you start and... See, I told you nobody would join us. No, but it's neither of the point. Right, I've now shared this. And to... Car friends united mm -hmm. and create friends. Well, I just oh, we have a new person watching. Anyway. If I click on that, I don't see anything, but then that's what anyway. I'm just going to play so if people join, they join. If they don't, they don't. <laughs> right, we've got seven watching. Hello, everybody that's watching. Do you know, I don't know how Linda, Hells, and everybody else does it. Because I'm sitting in my own craft area. Hi, Jonas. I'm sitting in my own craft area, chatting away and crafting away, and yet the butterflies in my stomach are terrible. <laughs> I don't know if I could ever do what they all do. So, if you're joining me this afternoon, I just decided to come on live and just play because it's been a miserable long lockdown again. So I thought I'd come on and play with the beautiful Sweet Treats by Paper Boutique. Hiya Carol, somebody's birthday very soon. Um, this was Sweet Treats, it was launched by Linda, was it Linda that launched this? It was Paper Boutique launch anyway that was on not so long ago. And I say it every launch, but it's actually one of my favourite kits because it is so pretty. So I just thought I'd come on and have a wee play with this and hope that some of my lovely friends would join me and we could have a little chat and giggle. Anya's jumping up and down wanting to play. Okay. Do comment people so I know who's on. You talk, because I get all worked up and shy. I can't talk. Nobody taught me to talk. <laughs> that is not true. I need one part of the job. Washes away. If you hear the clippity clop of little toenails on the floor, that's Anya coming to join us. And if you hear a pump, that's Kevin. <laughs> nice. So I had one of these, I'm not sure where I got this from, but I had one of these boxes lying about so I just decided to pretty it up a little bit by using some of my sweet treats um, so as I say I'm just I'm just playing and if you're joining me nice to see you all I'm getting presented with a ball Anya's speaking <gasps> we have got some people we have 10 people hello Janice, hiya Susan, hiya Leanne Hiya Carol, hiya everybody that I can't see. Um, right, so that's an 8 by 8 sheet you've used from the Sweet Tweets. Yes. Yes, I've just, I've just put it on that box blank. Let's see if I can do this without burning myself. I am a disaster with hot glue. That, oh, a few weeks ago I was making samples and I put the hot glue stick into my glue gun without thinking, pushed it in and a big load of wallop of glue is what I was going to say so I might as well just say wallop of glue a big dot of glue fell on my bare leg so of course I went to take it off with my hand so I burnt my hand, burnt my leg and uh, never used my glue gun for a few 
for about a week afterwards. <laughs> oh dear. I'm a disaster with hot glue. So I'm just cutting some of the flowers um, that I'm using on this are just shop bought flowers. I do have paper flowers ready to play with as well. And I do I make Hi, um, Debbie. roses and things. Hey Debbie. Ouch. I did burn myself, I knew I would. Anya's running about trying to get on the camera. She's really funny. If anybody FaceTimes me that she recognises their voice, voices of, she'll, hi Linda, she'll, um, she'll lick the screen. And now, when Hell's or Linda's on Create and Craft, Anya licks the TV. It's quite funny. She, um, she loves it. She loves meeting people. Right, so that was just a simple little box that I was just throwing together um, whilst I was on chatting. Another thing I was going to show you was the Sweet Treats, but all the Paper Boutique books have this set in the page and it's really nice because um, you can make three toppers using it. Hi Davina. Um, Hiya Davina, and the sentiments read right, uh, sorry, from left to right and they actually make sense. Wishing you happiness on this special day with love. So what Kevin's done is he's took this panel off and he's actually laminated it to make a bookmark. So then all I had to do was put a eyelet in using my crocodile so that I could pop a tassel on and I mean it's um, just a simple little make but it might be quite handy for church um, fets and and things like that um, so that you can uh, sell them because I mean you probably get what 50 pence for them or something so it would all raise funds for whatever charity that you're supporting at the time um, so I'm just fighting with this tassel to put it through. I finally found them. I knew I had them. I don't know what you girls are like, but see when I say, right, I need to get something out of my craft room. Hello, Linda. It takes me. <laughs> I've <laughs> yeah. evicted Anya outside, Linda, because she was being uh, a bit annoying. She wanted oh. to play with the ball. I've already got that one and I'm still fighting with it. How silly. Right, okay, don't put it back to front. Oh, well, I don't suppose it matters. <laughs> yeah, it does, because you're Brad. <laughs> it does matter, because your Brad's looking pretty at the front. So don't put it back to front like me. <laughs> this is doing well. <laughs> yeah, this is going really well. Oh, well. Come on, it's comedy if nothing else. Right, so anyway, that's how not to put your tassel on your bookmark. Come on, I've done it back to front. Never mind. Can you sort it? <laughs> oh, that's alright. Kevin to the rescue. <laughs> no, that's okay. So, um, so I had, <laughs> I was like prepping a few cards and stuff that I could make whilst I was chatting with you. Um, if anybody watched, we have lost somebody. <laughs> I wouldn't know worry about losing people, <laughs> that's the point of being on here. Oh dear. Um, so, this was a little card that I made. Um, and I was going to do something with it, but I can't remember what. So I'm just going to swiftly move on and just say, right, that's that done. <laughs> what were you going to do with that? Like? I have no idea. I did think about doing something. So anyway, well, so... I used, with this card, I'm going to do an 8x8 card, and I used one of the brilliant essential dies that Linda Chapman brought out, Paper Boutique, and I used the biggest square. Um, these are fantastic. I think they sold out about three times they're that great, because you've got the scallop edge, then you've got the plain edge, um, and the squares. You've also got the little triangles. I mean, who thought about little triangles to put the corners in? It's amazing how 
the, the team just come up with such brilliant ideas. And then, of course, you've got the scallops. I um, told them about the penguins. Yeah. And I know if you saw the shows, everybody on the team played in the show. It was brilliant. I like this size as well, Linda, because you can really just play and you can make it. Um, I'm, I'm quite eclectic with my crafting because I like messy crafting. But I also just like clean and simple and I think with these doily dies that um, Linda's brought out they, um, they're just, they just are brilliant, they're just a perfect size. By the way this Facebook live isn't really um, affiliated with any company, it was, uh, I know I've said Linda and the Creative Crafting World products a few times but that's just because that's what I'm using today. It's um, it's just a me doing a little play. It's not affiliated to anybody. With that being said, I got my husband to cut me out a beautiful doily from the special edition USB that Linda brought out not so long ago. Um, it's got how many doilies has that got on it? Twenty doilies on it. It's got twenty doilies on it, and they are beautiful. But they're more. Yeah, um, that was a brilliant buy. Um, they are more layered than you would get with a die because yeah. it's a USB, um, and they're cutting files. Linda and our uh, girls at uh, CCW uh, went and put an extra two layers on top of what you would normally expect to get with your die. Yeah, apparently the price of getting dies manufactured has went up significantly and um, it's um, not easy. Right, so I'm going to show you if I can find a bit of that paper. I'm going to show, it's not really my trick, I don't know, I can't take credit for this because I don't know, I think it was Don Bibby that I saw doing it. Um, so I'm not wanting to take credit but this is the way I use, I put my um, fine detailed media paper, what would you call it? Doilies on onto my um where you wouldn't normally go with a glue screen. Yes. So this is how I do it. I just put a little bit of glue on a bit of scrap paper, wiggle it under my delicate del delicated, that's the wrong word. Delicate. Delicate. <laughs> do you know? And it's not an excuse. See since COVID it is dreadful i can't get my words out i'm forgetful as anything and i can't get some of my words out it's really weird i have just discovered that because Thanks, i've shared Linda. your live screen a stream in more than one place there's comments going on on other streets oh see <laughs> so may i apologize to anyone who's commenting and creative friends at the moment i've only just come on the stream oh I don't know where he's shared me because I says to him, do you know I've got butterflies doing this already and I'm just sitting crafting. Um, so I says to him, don't tell me where you've shared me. So yeah, this is just what I do and I just feel that instead, I mean I know some of the girls put it on their hand and stuff. Um, but I just like this idea because I just think you get the glue exactly where you need the glue to be and there's no mess and then um, just by using a, a clean bit of paper you're putting it down and you're not getting the same overspill that you can get um. right, I think Linda said that she's been using her dies for the takeover show on Wednesday so let's just get that out there don't miss Wednesday evening from 6pm on Create and Craft. It's a creative crafting world takeover. There's the lovely new USB, the All Occasions Volume 2. I've even had a play with that one. Um, we've also got the launch of the Be Fabulous paper kit, which I'm absolutely determined to call Be Beautiful for some strange and unknown reason. <laughs> Um, it's because he's thinking of me when he says that's that. That's absolutely right, darling. That's, that's exactly what it is. what I'm thinking of. 
Um, <laughs> so don't miss out on that one. And I promise there's going to be lots of goodie bags. Uh, these are worth hundreds of pounds worth of craftiness. Um, and they're coming on, and I believe Linda will correct me if I'm wrong, for forty nine ninety nine. So that's, uh, that's on Create and Craft on Wednesday evening from 6pm. That's one not to miss. I know, it's going to be fantastic. So um, I will show you. This is one of the doilies, as I said, off of that um, CD. And as Kevin said, I think we would probably stop at that if it was a die and maybe your sentiment would be in the middle. But you've got all this extra. Thank you, Davina. <laughs> Linda Chapman says, give that man a medal. <laughs> it's Linda walked in. Oh, oh my goodness, now I'm even more nervous. <laughs> Hiya, Linda. Um, so anyway, so that would be your full doily set if you cut it out as it is on the USB. But I don't need that just now. Because I'm going to use this mat and pop this one down. And then I've got this circle that I'm going to put here, but I'm going to put it on with um, pads. Do you know, I must have the teeniest, tiniest little foam pads. I keep saying I've got to buy those um, extra big size ones and I've just never got around to doing it. So I do apologise that I have tiny, teeny ones. I think it's because they're probably years and years old and I'm just using up what I've got. Uh, just picking up on a comment there from uh, Davina on Sharon's own feed. She can't put the glue on the back of her hand because it makes her itch. Just a wee bit of a word of warning to people out there. Anybody that does have any sort of allergies towards fish or anything like that, sometimes, and depending on who the glue manufacturers are... Um, As I found out to my peril. <laughs> um, glue may have traces of fish product in it. Um, so if you're at all concerned or if you do itch when you do it, um, that would be the reason why. That could be one of the reasons why. I mean, it's all different. I mean, that's why I don't put it on my hand. I like to do it with the the scrap card um, and just pop it under that way. I mean, I am using a bottle with a fine nib on it and I'm using um, pin flare book binding glue or Kalal PVA glue because I use both and I never know what's in my tubs because I just, whatever tub a grab um, and I, I like I actually do like both equally now I'm sure I had something else to go on there and I can't remember what um, you were flowers, you were talking about the flowers you were yeah, I was going to put some flowers on of course but I really love that doily I mean that doily and a die would be probably about 25-30 pounds and to get what you were getting on Linda's uh, wonderful USB um, for the price of it, I mean, it, it was just crazy not to buy it if you had a cutting machine because it's just such good value. Linda Bruce, don't understand USB dies, do you still have to cut them out? If you're not a user of an electronic cutting machine, and that includes Scan and Cut, Silhouette or Cricut, um, then no, a USB, sorry I beg your pardon, a SVG file, which is what they're called. SVG, just as a matter of interest to anybody who wants the geeky information, is called a scaled vector graphic. Basically what it means is it doesn't really matter how big or small you make it, it doesn't lose the clarity or the detail that's in it. So if you don't have an electronic cutting machine, you can't really use an SVG to any effect. So a UA, an electronic die um, is basically a die cut shape that is cut out by a machine rather than your your dies and your uh, your windy or electronic machines. Uh, these these have been cut using um, Linda uh, Paper Boutique 
doily um, flowers are, oh, get your word right. These are dyes, <laughs> the flowers, and that's, this is the, of the USB. Um, and they're Linda's flowers, they're paper boutique flowers. Um, this is a random rose uh, dye, or whatever it's supposed to be, it's just a random flower dye, but I quite like putting them in the middle, because um, I just think they look so pretty. Linda's just said, don't have a cut machine, too bad it would save a fortune. You know what, it's worthwhile, I mean, anybody that knows me, not on here, will know that I, up until probably about, what, 2017, Sean? Yeah, you didn't craft. I didn't craft. I didn't see what it was about. Ay, 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 ay. Um, bleep! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I did not. Um, bleep. Sean, I bought the scan and cut for Sean, um, thinking it would help her out because of... Well, it's because the, the tattered lace um, yeah. USBs were coming out and I, and I thought I would like it. Um, but she couldn't get on with it, she just, it, it wasn't for her. And to be fair to Sharon, Sharon's always been a die cutter and a stamper. So I did like it. That's her thing. I actually did, I must admit, I did like it because I could resize the dies and such things. But what I didn't like about it was the edging that you don't seem to get on some of the cuts. However, I have to say I'm very impressed with the doily edge because it does look like a die. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Um, so anyway, as I was Sorry, saying there, no, that's fine. as I was saying there, Linda, if it's somebody you think you might be interested in, um, keep an eye because they're always doing specials on creating craft for the new style machine, which is the SDX. Um, or alternatively, I managed to pick myself up a reconditioned CM800Q off of uh, a website. Uh, and it was probably about half the price of a new one and to be honest with you, you wouldn't know it wasn't new. Um, so these things are out there second hand and reconditioned or you can pick up the new ones um, on Create and Craft and the Normology flexes on them. So they are affordable and I know that's a, a, a wide range and a, a huge statement to make because it is a considered purchase but the things you can do with it, you can't just cut things out, you can draw with them, you can foil with them um, I have yet to try embossing with it, um, but uh, it kind of opens a whole new universe of, of crafting for you. I can I just leave it at that because I think that's quite pretty. Oh, and it's, um, I've just added a couple of little wired hearts that I had lying around somewhere. Um, I think Brenda gave me them actually. Um, I'm and just scrolling any, through the feeds, just making sure I haven't missed anything. That they want to ask or yes, any questions? And if this them. if this live is something that you're enjoying and you would like me to do um, more of them, I would very happily do that. Whatever products, I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be this sort of product. It could be. Um, card stamping, backgrounds, anything. I'm quite happy. Um, I should have thought about it before because of lockdown and all the rest of it. We're sort of coming out of lockdown now and I've decided to do it but I just think um, it's nice just to pop on and say hi and have a wee play with you. So that's just a quick simple card. I will put an insert into it. Uh, just a quick one there, near, uh, Linda, you're saying, Nairton, um, you've been asking about it all the time and it's fallen on deaf ears. Just you remind him of that next time he says, oh, I could really do a new lawnmower or I could do a new car. Anyway. A new lawn. <laughs> a lawnmower and a new car is a little bit different to Not that. Me. Not me. Well, you've changed your tune. You really have. I think this is really funny because Kevin has definitely changed his tune. Now that he's a crafter. And you know, he watches Creating Craft more than I do. He seems to always wanting to watch it. Um, it's really funny. So. I'm just going to continue doing... I did prep a lot of this stuff, as you can tell. <laughs> 
I was like, I'm not going to die cutting everything, but it would be boring for people. And my cards are simple. Um, I'm not doing anything that anybody else couldn't do. They're just sim very simple cards. I mean, I think, I have to say, as I said, this is my favourite set. I think it's the colours and the fact it's got birdies on it. And, uh, and I'll change my mind. There'll be a new set will come out and I'll be on here next week or the week after or something. And I'll be going, this is my new favourite set. Because <laughs> I do it all the time. But this one and Bumblebee Dance. Oh. Did anybody get Bumblebee Dance? I'm going to play with that kit next live. It is stunning. It is really pretty. But you need to watch Wednesday night because... Is it Be Fabulous that's launching on Wednesday? Yes. You need to watch Be Fabulous. Be Fabulous is beautiful. It, it's really retro, I think. Linda's saying she loves that size of card. So. Is this the A5 card you like, Linda? This is actually Paper Boutique A5 um, cards. They're tent fold. Um, I absolutely love them. I, I um, get them off Linda for doing samples on, obviously. But I also buy them because they're one of my main... Um, they're one of my main loves. I used to be very much 6x6 six six square cards, but then when Linda brought these out, I think it's because they're tent fold, but you can do them um, landscape as well. Um, but I think because they're tent fold, I just think they're so pretty. Yeah, it was A5 when it was talking about. Oh, yeah, the A5. Now, as you can see, I did die cut out the middle of this because. You're not going to see all of this beautiful um, paper anyway, um, and I needed a mat to match my card. So I don't like the word gutted, so I'll just say that a die cut through it. Through it. Um, and then that way it'll all match. Um, some people um, I've seen do it and they take like all of it out and they just leave a wee a wee border around you can do that but i feel that um sometimes when you do that depending on what you've got on it your cards will dip a lot um so i, I tend not to do it that way i tend just to use this little bit here um and take out whatever die cut i need um because as i said i'm going to cover it anyway so it doesn't matter I think the beauty again at uh, of these kits is that Sharon tends to be extremely frugal and she does use the very last bit of card. In fact, one of the last samples she did on Creating Craft, she actually used the front page of the Paper Boutique book um, to, to give an effect. But the colours that's in these kits... Um, oh, you can't make a bad card. You can't. It's, I can't make a bad card. And I think that that's what's important. To remember, I have, have never said that I'm a crafter. I yeah. cut things out in the scan and cut, put them together. That's as much of crafting as I do. Um, and when I finish cards off, I get good feedback. Not cards, when I finish projects off, I get good feedback from you ladies out there. So, if I can do it. <laughs> because um, Rachel and Becky and Linda and, and the team um, have all done all the hard work for you. It's very easy. And you need to also remember, for example, um, just because that is an insert, because that was actually an insert. I don't know if I've got another one. Oops, with paper crafting, just because something is an insert doesn't mean it has to stay that way because with paper craft in it, you can do whatever you want, so you can make it into a topper. I'm just going to take this one for example. So the birds were down here, and all I did was cut that into a circle to give me my topper for my box. Because Linda's um, inserts aren't faded out, so they're so, so strong that you can use them as backgrounds, as you've heard the professionals on creating craft tell you all the time and I mean they are absolutely stunning 
the the papers and all the kits are stunning. I don't think I've seen a paper boutique or a paper tree kit that I haven't liked and I love that one. I just think that is so pretty. I think I might make a calendar with that um, for next year because I really like that one. So. Okay, so I apologise to anybody that's uh, commenting on Creative Friends. For some reason my laptop's frozen up on that group and I can't actually see what the, the feed uh, is saying on that one. So I apologise if you're commenting and I've missed it. Yeah, I maybe should have went live in Creative Friends, but I didn't want to. Um, oh, we'll, we'll learn in the future. We might do it yeah. through our own page and share it in using the page. Yeah. Well, if you are commenting, thank you. It's nice to see you joining us. Um, and thanks for spending some time with me crafting. Are you crafting along with me or? Or are you just enjoying a wee cup of coffee and a wee watch? I was trying to think of some really useless cracker jokes, but <laughs> because I get so nervous, everything's went all out my head. Cracker jokes? <laughs> yeah, like these silly jokes that I put on my Facebook wall. Like, what does why does polar bears uh, not eat penguin? Yeah. No, polar bears can't eat penguin. Why? Because they kind of get the wrappers on. Oh dear. I just saw a tumblebee rolling past. Oh no. <laughs> it's windy enough today to blow it. I know. <laughs> I think all you crafters down south are getting a bit of snow today. We had a little bit last night, but it's the wind today that's terrible. I'm laughing because uh, Mum had said when she watched one of my videos before when I was colouring that I sounded uh, either nervous or can't remember what she said, but you sound funny because you've been putting your telephone voice on. I've got to put my telephone voice on. <laughs> so I'm giggling at you every time you speak. And I've got but to it's... put my language filter on as well. Yes, that's because you won't be understood, would I you? I love your accent. Thanks, Louise. Hiya, Louise. I'm sorry if I'm missing anybody and not saying hello. I'm just playing, as I said. Just play, play, play. I mean, you could leave that just like that. It's just... Plain, hmm, don't look at the messy glue. It's just plain, nothing, nothing exciting. It was very easy to do, but the artwork does all the talking anyway. And then I've got one of these little sending sentiments. So it says, sending you love on your special day. So I'm going to pop that in there. And then that's that, and I'm going to pop some flowers on it. Kevin's printed out this, um, oops, this sheet so that you know where to find us in future. I forgot what I was going to say to that. It's squint, you can't have my sheet, squint. Oh, I'm sorry. Why? The pictures are squint. I'm fed up going round the room sorting them. That's different. Yeah, and we've got border collie ornaments on our fireplace. And I'm just going to tell everybody. I said to Kevin, because I haven't been feeling very well, as you know. So I said to Kevin, why haven't you dusted my border collies? They're getting um, dusty looking. And Kevin's exact words were, I'm trying to make the black and white border collie look like Anya. So for anybody that doesn't know, Anya's grey and white and silvery. So he's now telling me that the dust on the collies is deliberate so that they look like Anya. Yep. Honestly, part men. Of a, part of a master plan. Men. I mean, men. What do you say about that, girls? So I guess I'm going to have to dust the collies myself. Ah, we'll see about that. <laughs> why are you going to... Why did I do that? Why did I put the little ones on first and then the big one? Oh well, I don't know. But I did. Now, if anybody uh, wants to have a look, we have a YouTube channel. 
uh, which you can access by going to youtube.com um, and looking for The Noble Crafters. Hello Cam. Um, on the YouTube hey, channel, Cam. and it's with an S on the end rather than, as you can see with the Facebook one, without the S. Um, we have got a number of little projects in there, um, along with some of my uh, makes as well. Um, using various uh, cutting files from various companies uh, as well as some of my own digital work that I did when I used to uh, spend a lot of time on the Xbox so if you're more than welcome to come across and hit that subscribe button We're wanting to start doing a lot more Facebook lives um, if people are enjoying them because um, I don't know, I just want to embrace technology and have some fun and I think it is fun when you're uh, crafting along with your peers. I know that Don Bibby normally does really good videos on a Sunday night and I sit and watch them and craft along. And so does Linda um, and the Hee Haw at Linda. Pardon? We Hee Haw at Linda. When she's uh, on live. I don't like that one. What one? That one I was going to put on there. I didn't like it. Right. I didn't think it matched particularly well so I decided to reject it so I'm going to put these on instead. Oh yeah I love Linda's wives and I love when Lexi comes and joins her. Lexi's gorgeous. I love watching Carl around the corner trying to hide her gin or vodka or whatever she's <laughs> drinking <laughs> behind the door. That was um. funny. I don't know, it evaporates that quick. How can you see her drinking it? Oh well, it does evaporate, you're absolutely right. Right, so again, I'll just go leave that like that. I've no reason to be making these cards other than I just love this kit. So, we've done these ones. That one. Put them over there. I was going to do um, something with this one. This one. It's pretty seamy, seamy. Can you with all your prep? Yeah, but they're quite seamy, seamy. I was thinking that there the now. What did I do that for? I should have done them a little bit different. I think they're they're very seamy. But I did. Um, that's what I was doing earlier today when you were trying to um, get it to work. And swear at my iPad. It's because it's made by Apple. Well, I didn't want to just sit and do um, die cutting because people would just get bored doing die cutting. Um, so, this card I'm going to give away to a commenter who Kevin will pick at random um, from the comments from everywhere we've shared our live. And I will send this card to somebody just because and I will also send a little angel with it because everybody needs a little angel in their life. So again they're very boring because they're very simple and they're very samey. Um, I was not supposed to be doing very same, but for some reason that's what I've done. Now I was going to do on this one, but I don't know how much I'll show. But I was going to do just a little bit of inking on this one just to show that as Hells and Linda always say, Linda's um art paper boutique doesn't come foiled or inked or anything it comes on uncoated card and it's really so you can play with it so if you um, want to add anything to it you can you don't have to but you can so mm, you've got the stencils out yeah I'm just inking just through a stencil I'm not I'm not doing any particular 
it's just random it's not I don't think very much of it's going to show given the topper I've got but I just thought randomly just to bring in the stencil and show that Louise Young says a beautiful Sandra Crumley says lovely thank you ladies just to show see that's totally squint I didn't really mean to do it squint but oh well go with it it's a happy accident there's no mistakes in craft and as I said, you'll be putting your topper on anyway, so you're not really going to see very much of that. Um, but it's just a little bit different. I sometimes go on, but I don't think it shows up very well, but I sometimes will go on with my um, foil quill, the We Are Memories foil quill, and I'll add a little bit of foil to my, my toppers and things. Kim says she just found us after she'd watched her film on YouTube. She loves sweet tweets, they're such lovely colours. They are, aren't they? They're beautiful. I really do like this set. Um, really pretty. Davina says it's gorgeous. It is a gorgeous set. Right, either nobody's commenting on Creative Friends or something's going wrong with the feed. I can't watch because I'm just doing this. Um, and another thing that I like to do with um, this artwork is just bring in a sparkle pen and just add a little bit of sparkle here and there. The artwork is just gorgeous. It doesn't need anything, it's so pretty. But just a little bit of sparkle sometimes is just quite pretty. I saw one of the design team use glossy accents on, um, I think it was Shahid, um, on some of the samples. Shahab. Pardon? Shahab. Shahab, I do apologise. Um, on some of the samples that he made, and it was really pretty. Really, really pretty. Yeah, my internet browser's just frozen. I'm still live. I know, you're live. But uh, Ouch. I'll have to come out here and go back in again. Um, where the wee flurry this morning? We had a wee flurry this morning, didn't we, as well? Yeah. Scotland had a little bit. Where's everybody from that's watching? That would be an interesting, interesting to find out where all our little friends are from. Do this one, I think. I'll make a box for this card because it's going um, in the post. So, in fact, has Linda got a box for an A5 card on her USB? I think so. Still there. How long will it take to cut it? Uh, it won't take long, but I don't want to leave okay. my feet. Well, you would cut me one of them and I'll decorate the box up and we'll post that out along with a little gift and a little angel yeah, to somebody a P5 envelope on there. watching. Um, I will have to keep it to UK, however, because I've went and put paper roses on it, so <laughs> it won't travel very well. That's what I saw. Paper roses, mm -hmm. yeah. Who's it by? That was Marie Osmond. Oh. I've done them quite loose because I think they look pretty quite loose. I really, really am grateful for everybody that's joined us today for this little craft get together. Is it something you would like to see me do more of? I did a video yesterday on the black magic technique. Um, that was fun. I was trying out different... I'm trying to think where I put the cards. I was trying out different bits and pieces. Um, with colouring um, them with wax pencils, oil based pencils 
and wax crayons um, and then inking over it and it, it was really nice effects um, colouring I have to say I don't know how five year olds manage to colour with wax crayons oh ouch my, my hand was aching <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Because I keep wondering myself. Oh. Yeah, I do. I'm terrible with, as I said, glue guns. Glue guns are my enemy. I'm really terrible oh, with glue guns. Oh, the has started moving. Well, blame Facebook for that. Right, Davina says there's no snow where she's at in the south side of Glasgow. A bit um, eh? I was just talking to myself, sorry. Sandra Crumley's from Northern Ireland. I've only been there once. No, twice. I said twice. Flew once and went across in the... Ugh, very once. Oh, I'll tell you a story about that. I got a phone call because he had to go over to Northern Ireland. So I get, I get this phone call from him and he says, I've just had to walk how many steps it was and then came back how many steps it was. And I says, and why did you have to do that? He says, because I've had to stand right in the middle of the boat so that if the boat goes down. No, I said, if the boat rocks. The centre of the boat is the least rocky bit. So I walked from the front to the from the pointy <laughs> bit to the blunt bit and then from one side to the other side and walked out where the middle was and I stood there. And this porter came along and says, Are you okay, sir? I'm like, Yes, this is the middle of the boat. I am not moving. You said something else to me. No, I used a different word. Uh, no, 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 not that word. You said something else to me about the fact why you did that. Because you said if the boat sunk something or other anyway oh, might have done. it was really funny might have done. it was really really uh, funny Denise Gibbons is from Newport in Shropshire I don't think I've ever been there no I haven't been there um, hi Gail we are fine thank you how hi, are you hi Gail and um, Kim Cranston you're supposed to glue the paper not your fingers Sharon oh I know I'm terrible I was um, watching Dawn Bibby the other night and what a shame she really gave herself a sore one but I'm really bad for it. I just, I should use those um, stick to finger guards. Geraldine Bain says, don't know where I've been uh, hiding, but I haven't seen this set. Beautiful colours. It is, it's really beautiful colours. Um, if you want to join the group Creative Friends, um, the address, the web address is on your screen there. Um, answer a couple of questions. Um, and every time something new comes up or goes live, uh, we generally get the, the, the girls posting all the um, the samples for it. I always put it on my feed as well, mm. um, on my Facebook call. But yeah, join the group because that's actually a fan group for Linda. So Linda Chapman, for those that uh, don't know who I'm talking about when I keep saying Linda, from Creative Crafting World. Um, She's a beautiful lady, um, inside and out. I'm not just saying that because she might be watching, it's the truth, she is. And um, our products are second to none, they really are gorgeous. And if you join the group, you get sneaky peeks of what's coming up. Yeah, and if you join the group, right now we are doing a giveaway. An Easter giveaway. An Easter giveaway. So you can enter that to be in with a chance of winning a goodie bo box. And when I say goodie box, the goodie boxes are full of beautiful products. Loveliness. Some of the other girls have shown them what full of loveliness. they are. So all I've done there is I've just took some ink just to go over my paper roses, just to blend in with my background card. Um, and you can see some of where I've stenciled. I put a little bit more stenciling down here just to bring in a. <laughs> Sorry, I've just read Kim's comment. I used to get the ferry from Larn to Stranraer uh, and I used to sit right in the middle of the boat, likewise, so I couldn't see the sea uh, because I'm petrified of water. <laughs> My two year old and his dad were out chasing seagulls on the deck. <laughs> That's so. funny. Um, I also missed a comment there from Jet. I'm in Brighton and we have sunshine here. I thought it was always sunny in Brighton. Is that not why it's uh, the, what do they call it? The Riviera of, of England. Do they? 
Uh, you wouldn't like it. He's a polar nope. bear. No. Nope. Honestly, he walks about with his um, t-shirt on in December. Yep. So I did have, but I don't know what I've done with it. But I obviously did have something else in mind to do. Oh yes, I did. That two-year-old is now thirty-four. <laughs> yeah, it does make you feel old when things like that happen, doesn't it? That's what I did. Yeah. That's the wrong one. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. So. That doesn't need to be done. <laughs> so, we have made this card today, um, which I quite like, using that beautiful doily of the USB. The doily has come off the um, cut and file, paper punky cut and files special edition, um, and it's die number three on the set. And these three are very similar to each other, but just by adding a little bit um, different flowers and oh, I didn't realise I did the exact same card. And now I should have done that as a and here's a before prep to the one I'm just about to do and make it look as if uh, I did it like Linda, the professional on the TV, because she always has her one made to show you, and then she makes her demo on TV with you. I should have done it that way, shouldn't I? I should have went, this is one that we're going to do, and do it this one. Here's one I prepared earlier. Yes, but I didn't, because I didn't really realise it was exactly the same. You must um, notice how much I love that topper. <laughs> I've used it three times. But I do, I think it's absolutely stunning. Um, and I don't think you can make a bad card, as I say, they're very simple cards to make. Um, but that's just the way... The way I like making cards is elegant and simple, unless I'm doing the big song and dance, inky plays that I do. And not to forget Kevin's bookmark, with a tassel that's on back to front. And a little box, decorated in... Kimber just said her man is from Kilmarnock and he's always cold, even in July down here in uh, Birmingham or Brom. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but that's that's west coast of Scotland. Um, they are more used to rain than temperature. Uh, and west coast of Scotland is a rather wet, wet place. <laughs> yeah, and th this one I've not done the field card, but this one was just to show that um, the topper, which is that one, die cut with a paper boutique doily die. Oh, sorry, with a paper boutique doily die. Um, and then fussy cut as that out and then I was going to fussy cut some of this one out to lay on top and then obviously make a card with that. Um, Kevin needs to confess to you all oh, what, what about, the, about the fussy cut. And which one? <laughs> <laughs> I think you should confess about anything you make that's fussy cut. Yeah, sure I'm that. In fairness, the last fussy cut I did was the B on the um, B Fabulous that I did. So I do it sometimes, but it's like one of these things like, do you really want to wash the dishes? No, we'll just do it then. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he does. He'll say to me, can you fussy cut that please? So the we well, had a really, because there's a takeover happening, if you haven't heard. There's a takeover on Crate and Craft. Create and Craft Takeover yes. on Wednesday at 6pm where Creative Craft and World will be launching the All Occasions, uh, the Paper Partner All Occasions Volume 2 USB with mm -hmm. six beautiful paper kits. Oh my goodness, you should see them, they're gorgeous. Um, they are also launching the Paper Boutique Be Beautiful Paper Collection. That is gorgeous. And actually, there's a paper on there that is really, really, I just think it's really retro. Um, it's beautiful. And I've got this, a, a, doll, a doll stamp that she's like a 60s girl. And I thought to myself, that would look fabulous with that paper. So I might, I might play with that. And also during the shows, which is going to be full of flexes and all sorts of offers, um, we have goodie bags um, and they have got hundreds of pounds worth of craft in them and Linda is selling them for 49 
They have to tell me that when we're skint. So I'm not mobile. <laughs> right, if it's on flexi, I mean, you never know. Set your recorders to craft, people. 6 pm on Wednesday. I think it's funny. We said that this wasn't affiliated with any company, and all we've done is talk about uh, Linda's products. But sure. that's because I'm using them and I love them. Yeah. And actually, it's um, it's not contrived or anything like that. I genuinely love Linda's products. So when I am crafting, a lot of the time I am crafting with her products because they they make they just make such beautiful. Oh, I've got to hide this sacred pokey tool <gasps> because if I don't, Kevin pinches it and breaks them. I like pokey tools. Yeah, well, leave that one alone. Um, so, yeah, so That's when That's a I'm, nice pokey tool. No, you've already had one and you've broke it. Look, a beer. <laughs> um, this, this house, Kevin... Um, Keeps, I had about six of those wooden handled uh, pokey tools and Kevin kept pinching them. <gasps> yeah, Louise, that'll be good. Because you will, be, I think you've got to spend £50 now to use your your voucher. Um, but it's it's worth it, especially when you see what Linda's bringing. I used my birthday voucher on Helsey's show she was showing um these um color bursts and watercolor paints by what's his name again oliver man he's got a collie ken oliver so i had to have them so i'll be doing a live playing with them because i like messy play as well All I'm doing just now is just. Do you know what? I'm silly. Pieces. I'm just wait a minute. I'm silly. I don't want all of it. I just want some of it. So now I'm just cutting into it. Yeah, I know. It's because I'm using the wrong scissors and I didn't want to reach over to get my right ones. So I'm not doing it the way I would normally do it. I'm turning the uh, paper and not the scissors. But I forgot, I'm only needing a couple of flowers for this decoupage. So that's the thing, because you get so many sheets in the paper boutique books, you can do decoupage, like I'm doing, just the old-fashioned decoupage. But uh, with the USB, it's even better because you could probably spotlight, take it into like sort of Minecraft Studio or Serif or... Do crafts digital designer and you could probably spotlight bits out that you want to print and then um, fussy cut um, Kim says she's been fussy cutting this weekend because she sold her skin and cut and waiting for her new one to arrive gosh I'm out of practice hi I can imagine well if you're doing anything using the paper boutique or any of the Creative Crafts model products, I want to see them in Creative Friends, please. And if you're not doing them, um, using any of the Creative Crafts model products, I hope you'll join Craft Friends United, where you can put any brand, any make in. You can even promote your blogs, your YouTube channels, or your Facebook pages in that group. Because that used to be a pocket letter group that I opened years ago with my good friend Lisa. Um, but we've now moved on from pocket letters. So we've just made it a group for any brand, any craft. So you'll see knitting, crocheting, sewing, paper crafting, painting, you name it. You'll see it in that group. You'll see some of the stamping up to it demonstrators putting their videos in um, to sell you stamping up stuff or just watch for ideas um, it's a really nice little group and um, one of the ladies has been in an awful long time Eva she is very talented she's um, Dutch I believe and she's always doing beautiful makes that's inspiring 
couple of Americans in there as well, don't they? We've got quite a lot of Americans in there because they did do a lot of pocket letters with American friends and it was good fun. And then the postage got scarily busy, um, so we don't do as much now. While we're uh, asking you to plug your YouTube channel, we'll just get a quick plug to ours. Um, if you want to get onto YouTube, if you go and look for The Noble Crafters, with an S on the end, um, we've got uh, quite a few playlists in there. Um, obviously there was the Sharon's ones. We also have uh, Handy Tips and Tricks in Windows, um, along with uh, My Makes, My 3D Makes, on a scan and cut. Basically that's me. Okay, so we're just over the hour mark. Uh, and I think Sharon's just tidying up, so oh, while Sharon just quickly goes through again the things that she's that's made always. during the, the live, I'm going to randomly go through the feed and pick a winner. You've got to do it in all the feeds. That's what I'm doing. Alright. And the winner is... Louise Young. So congratulations Louise. If you can uh, PM Sharon your address please and we'll get that posted out to you. Yep. We will. We will get this card posted out to you. Um, I will include our little bookmark and I will include an angel for you so that will get posted out to you thank you very much for joining me today ladies and if there's any gentlemen gentlemen and um, i do hope that you enjoyed the little live that we've done and i hope you'll come and join us another time yep and i'm absolutely no doubt um as time goes on if you guys want to see or hear or want to be shown anything that sharon will be able to help you out with that that would be fun. So from the Noble Crafters, thanks for joining us and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye guys. Is that okay?